it's Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and I am back with another video. This is Thank God It's Finished or TGIF and this is my floss tube edition. Now I don't have much in the ter in terms of finishes or s projects to show you but I have much in terms of how much stitching I have done. Um, I had told you in my last video? Nope two videos ago that for the month of July I was going to focus on Farmhouse Christmas and commit to stitching 30 minutes per day on it and I am happy to report I have not missed a single day and today is July 31st and I finished Farmhouse Christmas on July 28th. I did have to order more thread and I'm glad I did because one color I needed a strand of but oh my gosh it's done and oh my gosh I love this thing love it okay I'm over the fact that the fabric hates me and I hate the fabric and I'm back in love with all of it the fabric and all I wouldn't stitch on the fabric again but I love it I love everything about it here it is look at that I don't think I took a picture of where I was last time, but I believe I still had three or four more blocks to go. Maybe even, I had at least three, but I think there was four plus some of the fifth. Anyway, I love it. I love it. It's awesome. Now, I stitched this on fabric which I don't know what it is I don't even know the count with all the classic color works threads that it called for I bought it as a kit from um, beach beach cottage stitchers I think that's what it's called um, when it first came out and I didn't start it at the time when I was working on this I had picked up something to finish it on when I was at Target in Pennsylvania last year and it's a little dusty that's how long I've had it I picked up this what is this called? Shutter. Couldn't think of the word. But this is too big for the shutter. It won't look like a shutter at all. So I'm going to come up with something else to finish that. I'm not sure what it is at this point, but this, this deserves all the glory. Um, I did, however, have a couple fabrics that I thought I might use in finishing it if I don't frame this. And one of them... Okay. This, the first one I, I got is not going to work. It's way too, the colors, I think, are way too busy for it. So I'll show it to you. This was one of the ones. That red is way too jarring with this fabric, with this piece. But it's beautiful. And this is, what is this? Riley Blake something doesn't say on my selvage it just says Riley Blake 2000 it's a 2019 Riley Blake plaid but I also got this other plaid that I think will work with it did I use this with something else oh yeah I used it on my my um, August whirly gig I'm a summer whirly gig let's let's do this let's see if I can get it to work I think that plaid looks really nice with the colors in this. Now, how I'm going to use it, I'm not exactly sure, but still. This is Riley Blake Winterberry by my mind's eye, this plaid. So I think, I think these two together will look great. How I'm going to finish it, I don't know, but I want to get it finished and I want to get it up on my, my wall. I've rearranged my wall a little bit since the last time you've seen me, unless you saw it on Instagram. So if you have any suggestions of how you think I should finish this, I would love to hear them down below. I considered doing a pillow, but the idea of two years of my life um, being sat on is not very appealing and I really want to put it up on the wall so 
If you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Until then, it will sit somewhere where I can see it because I don't want it to fall by the wayside. I want to get it finished, finished. Um, in terms of whips, I do still have Summer by Little House Needleworks upstairs that I'm working on. I haven't stitched a single stitch in it. And I'm going to pull back out the Colorful Cow from Artiste and work on this because this is another one that I was hoping to finish this year. And I'll remind you where I am. On, well, you can't see it. It's in the Q-snap. Oh my god, I love that cow! Um, this one's a tough one to work on though because the margins on this fabric is so close that I don't know how I'm not going to run out of fabric. And um, there's not enough loss, but that's okay. I was able to get the floss list for that colorful cow from Hobby Lobby, which was no small feat. So I at least know that when I run out of a color, I can get more. I can replace it eventually when I get to the store. Um, so if anybody else needs that floss list, if they're working on the colorful cow, just um, leave a message down below and I will figure out how to get that to you because it's, it's no big secret. March. Uh, the, the floss list. It's just a list of DMCs and I'd be happy to share that with you. I do have a couple other things that I would like to work on or start. The first is Bent Creek Snapperville, and this is Stockyard. It's really cute. It has a, let me take it out of the plastic because I have a glare. Probably still I'm going to have a glare because this is a little shiny. It's got a cow, a sheep, and a chicken. It's really cute. And I have the perfect thing to finish this on, so I'd like to start that at some point in the near future. I would also like to start my autumn whirly gig so that I have that done for autumn. And then I have this Bent Creek, what is this called? Snappers. And there's just one per month. For instance, here's January. And I was thinking I showed you in a previous video, I got that perpetual calendar and these are what I want to put on there. So I'm thinking of starting September and if I finish September, I will start August. So that maybe, maybe I'll start August. It's because it's not August yet. I mean, tomorrow's August, but anyway, I'm leaning towards starting September and August and possibly possibly can I find it possibly October and I'm hoping to finish one a month which is totally unrealistic for me but I'm hoping to finish one a month the month before so that then it can go up on the calendar but like I said that's very unrealistic for me but that's the other thing I would really like to start I have been watching so much floss tube and you guys um I need a bigger bank account <laughs> and I need a bigger house to put all the stuff in because I'm so enabled. I'm so, so enabled, but I am resisting. I am resisting as best as I can. There's so many things out there what I, that I want to stitch, but there's also so many things in my basket over here that I want to stitch. So going to take a deep breath and I'm going to try and work on what I have. I'm going to tr try and stitch from stash or craft from stash, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. That I think is all that I have for this time. I hope you guys are doing really well. I would love it if you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. I'm trying to be a lot better about responding to comments and at least putting a heart next to them so that you know that I've seen them. I can't promise perfection, but I love interacting with you guys and knowing that I'm not just talking to my computer screen. Uh, I'd probably still do this even if I was just talking to my computer screen, but who knows. 
that is all I have for this time. I hope you guys are doing really well. And until next time, I will talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye.